hey everyone and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to set up google workspace with microsoft outlook let's begin setting up the google workspace with microsoft outlook allows you to sync your email contacts and calendar seamlessly all right so there are a couple of ways for you to be able to do that one of the best option is going to be enabling the imap and api access in google workspace so for you to be able to access the google admin console if you are in the gmail you might want to hover to the google apps section i want you to hover to the admin console which is this one right here now all we have to do is hover to the security settings right here on the left side panel of your dashboard there's going to be like an arrow like a drop down arrow here and i want you to click the access and data control there are more options along the way which is going to be the api controls data protection google cloud session control and less secure apps i want you to click the api controls now in the api or app access control i want you to enable the api access for the organization it's very important all right so you see there is an option here that says manage settings for user messages and configured third-party apps because we are going to sync the microsoft outlook to the google apps within the google ecosystem so i want you to click the drop down menu there should be an option here too you see this it says do not allow users to access any third-party apps so what we're going to do is allow users to access any third-party apps or allow users to access third-party apps that only request basic info needed for sign-in with google i'm not going to do with that i'm just going to check the uh, default so that's one thing that we need to make sure that we have um managed to edit the settings now the next thing is i want you to go to the this build called gwsmo or google workspace sync for microsoft outlook all right all i have to do is very simple you just have to download the executable file which is going to be the uh, gwsmo all right and it'll do all the work for you but of course you need to read the six system requirements and install these steps before using the gwsmo to sync your data with google workspace which is going to be for microsoft outlook it's one of the uh seamless integration for both platforms because they work differently but of course all we have to do is download the exit file or the msa file which is recommended for admins so if you don't have any access to the machine or computer or your your access is kind of limited because it belongs to a specific organization such as maybe your team or your company you might want to make sure that you request access or ask your it or your admin about it but if your user you are the end user just click this download gd gwsmo so i want you to click that and you will be forwarded to save the application to your computer all right all you have to do is save it to your uh, desktop or local machine and click on save and of course you just have to follow with the instructions on installing it you see that once the installation is complete i want you to click on close and of course let's open that now now once you have successfully installed the google workspace sync all right it will ask for your email address and the email address is not your gmail personal address but the google workspace all right in this case i'm going to be typing in if you're not sure just hover to your google workspace account which is in my case this account right here all right so i'm hovering that so deep labs at deep dash labs.com all right I'm going to copy it. I'm going to click on continue. Now all I have to do is just follow the on-screen instructions. It says you need to sync in with your Google Workspace to Microsoft Outlook. Click on continue. All right, wait for it. Now you want to make sure that we and understand all the information here because this will allow Google Workspace sync for Microsoft Outlook too. You have all these for Gmail. You can read and compose, send and permanently delete all your email from Gmail, see and edit your email labels, add emails to your Gmail inbox, all right? See, edit, create, and a lot more. You can also create and organize and delete all your tasks, which is part of the Microsoft 
outlook all right and once you are happy with it just click the allow button there should be a pop-up window here that says authorization has been granted successfully please switch to your application you can close this page and there's going to be a small window right here you see you can create a google workspace profile in microsoft outlook you can import data from existing profile send crush reports and from here you can click the create profile if you want if you do that what will happen is there's going to be another pop-up window here that says start microsoft outlook and then here profile name is this you just have to follow of it click an okay all right And as you can see, we are successful in integrating our Microsoft Outlook to the Google Workspace. All right. All I have to do is click on close. You want to make sure you toggle anything here. Now, once everything is uh, synced and set up, you would notice that whatever you put in your calendar here, Microsoft Outlook, whatever context you put in here even the task they will automatically sync with their google workspace all right so because they have seamlessly integrated the both accounts now for example for task i'm gonna add a new task here all right um I'll click on to do list if you want to add a task go to the new task right here subject put in the insert i'm going to insert something here like a picture right so i'm gonna click this and i'm gonna save this task all right you can put in say for example a due date maybe um january of a 10th all right and the due date is this and click the priority to maybe um high or normal if you want to click on um, a reminder you can do that and click on the uh, go to the file section and click on save all right task click and save and close all right so it's up to you and then if you go again to the calendar you can also do the same thing if you added an event here all right new appointment or maybe a new meeting doesn't matter subject and here click on save and close this will be automatically synced to your google workspace all right so another option that you can explore is go to your google app section all right you hover down to your gmail drive and the calendar making sure that everything has been set up correctly all right and that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching guys we will see you again in the next one